What's up everybody? It's your boy KC back with another FL Studio tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys how to quantize. I started this piano loop here. Um, I don't really like quantizing on pianos. It kind of sucks the life out of it. It turns broken chords into block chords and it really just takes the humanness out of it. So I'm going to show you what I recorded. Um, I'm going to tell you how I quantize instruments like piano and then I'm going to show you how I use quantizing actually to speed up my workflow. So let's go. Here's a piano loop. Now, I didn't play it that perfect um, or that that good. I, I went and quantized it by myself, I mean quantized it. Um, the only thing I really quantize on piano is the melody notes if I have a lot of them consecutively. The shortcut for quantizing is Alt-Q. So if you hit Alt-Q, it'll pop up the quantize menu. Um, I don't, this is this is basically the main knob you're going to use other than the sensitivity. I keep the sensitivity all the way up and I kind of just adjust this knob until it sounds quantized like I like it. Now, like I said, when I'm doing pianos, I like to keep it. I don't like to quantize it because it takes the life out of it. So I don't do a full quantize on the melody notes. Um, I get it close, but I don't make it so perfect that it does. It sounds robotic. Um, so probably there is good. If you do a full quantize on the whole thing, so here on these chords. Here, I'm gonna play this loop. See how it sounds broken? All the notes are played at the same time and if you quantize it it'll it'll put it together and make it sound blocked so this is how bad it makes it sound if you're doing a piano so I don't like doing it like that if I wanted to adjust the notes on pianos and stuff I would just go in and adjust it manually to how I how it sounds in my ear so I suggest you do it that way too but I do quantize fully all my drums and then I have little tricks that I humanize it with so I'll show you that right now so I'm adding the, the snare quick So again, shortcut is Alt-Q. Now some notes don't always snap to where you want them, so you have to double check and listen for it. So that was quick and easy. And like I said, on my drums, I quantize all the way. I turn the start knob all the way to the right. Do the same with the kick. that one I don't like that <laughs> all right that one I was feeling a little better and then alt Q again turn knobs turn all the way up along with the sensitivity hit accept and then go back and listen to it make sure some or the notes didn't snap to the next block over because quantizing FL Studio does that a lot. So I'm just going to go back and listen to it quick. I do 
do the same thing with my hi hats. I just do another little trick with my hi hats to humanize it and give it a little bit more swing. So I'll show you guys that. Q, highlight it. Now, like the thing that I feel like hi hats add the most swing and make it make the hip hop anyway make the drums sound like I said have swing. Uh, I adjust the velocity a lot on my hi hats, and I'll show you guys how I do that. So right now, after quantize, it sounds like this. just the quantize a little I mean the velocity a little bit All right, now let's take a listen. enough swing to it what I like to do too is just push it over and out it'll push it over just a touch it'll add a little bit more accents on the first like the t -t 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 -t, and it kind of puts a little bit more swing on it so let's hear that I feel like for this one it didn't really need that but that's another little trick if you're feeling like it doesn't have enough swing. So that's all I got for quantizing, guys. Hopefully you liked the video. If you found this video informational, please share it. Again, it's your boy KC. Y'all have a great day.